Hi, everybody. Again, what's with all these impromptu live streams? Baby, I'm back. I'm back. All right, so hold on. I'm probably not going to share this to my group because I kind of did a video there already. So they've heard this stuff. They're with me all the time. They know. Um, hey, everybody. Um, actually, I'll just do it anyways because... They're my group and they just always have to listen to my stuff because they're so awesome. <laughs> All right, so hey everybody, it's Happy Tuesday. It is December 10th, it's 12-10, 2019. Can you believe it? We're so close to Christmas and all the holidays and just everyone's going crazy. And here's the question of the day. So I'm coming on real quick to, let me share this out to my business page real quick. And then just give you all some de all the details of the latest and greatest over here. Hold on. Um, so a lot of people who are hanging out with me for a while, either here or in my Facebook group, um, know that I talk a lot about intuition. I talk a lot about law of attraction. I talk a lot about manifestation. I talk a lot about you know trusting and having faith in the universe and connecting with spirit, connecting with your higher self. And I hope to come back and be doing live readings very soon. Um, hopefully this week would be great, but I'm not going to make any promises because, you know, my life sometimes goes all sorts of different ways over 40 parenting, right? So um, what I will say is that I really want to return and start doing readings, going back to my roots and doing more readings and um, really diving into my energy healing as well. So for me in 2020, um, it's really going to be about, you know, my coaching, my one-on-one, -on -one, my programs, which I'll talk about soon, and then um, energy healing and readings again, and really starting to get people to feel like they have confidence knowing how to hear their intuition, right? I have a lot of people who ask me, you know, how do I tell, like, what's my ego? What's my intuition? How do I... Um, how can I trust it or working with their gifts, doing readings or doing pendulums, cards, or just doing connecting with loved ones on the other side, like receiving signs, like how do I know and how do I trust that? So what I'm finding is a lot of times, and there are many, many things you can do. There are many rituals. And if you've been hanging out with me, you've probably heard a lot of them, things you can do for self-care practices. There's a lot to consider, right? There's you know, there's no magic formula, I'll say that. There's no magic formula or strategy. It's just getting yourself into a place where you're open to receiving, where you're kind of surrendering to spirit and you're open to receiving. And what does that mean? It's different for everybody. For some, it might mean increasing your self-care. Like if you're super tired or you're low energy, or maybe it's because you need to make changes in the food that you eat or things that you drink, you might, or it feels heavy. Maybe you are um, relationships or people that you know are around you right now they're kind of sucked into some drama and you're absorbing some of that energy or whatever it may be it could be some sort of a self-care it could be more sleep um, more hydrated it could be more exercise it could be that you're practicing doing your meditation meditation is a big one for me um, where that is the easiest you know quickest and I don't want to say quickest in the sense that it's just gonna happen like that like this is every individual has their own journey so um, when you meditate and getting connected that you know, that takes some time to develop it's a skill it's it's connecting with you and it's a great way to be able to do that um, maybe you need to start a meditation practice maybe you need to do some cord cutting rituals maybe it's chakra balancing getting Reiki work done or some other energy healing work maybe it's um, Let's see, maybe it's just, I don't know, making a change in relationships. Maybe it's a change in career. Maybe it's all of these things. Or maybe you feel like, um, and then and here's where I'm coming up with a lot of, like with my one-on-one -on -one clients and in my group sometimes, is that there's usually something that's standing in your way. There's something that's been holding you back a little bit. And first of all, I don't mean to say this in the sense that it's your fault, you're doing anything wrong, oh my gosh, you're messing this up because you're doing this and this, you can't connect to spirit or can't connect to intuition. Because your intuition is like, it's like it's your higher self. It's like when you were a kid, right? They remember when you were a kid, how you were always in the moment and you just always knew what you wanted and what you didn't want. And you could felt like it was, you knew when you were around people or situations what felt right and what didn't feel right. Like kids are super good at that. Like how to, 
how my kids will know my mood in a second. They pick up on my energy in a flash. So, and they'll kind of like respond to it. So if your kids are acting up, they pick up on your energy sometimes, you know? Um, so it's, it's really all about your, your energy and your receptiveness and your openness. So, um, and I just totally forgot where I was going with this because I saw something flash in front of my face on my computer. It's like, I was like, whoa, something looked really trippy for a minute. Um, so anyways, oh my gosh, and I'm forgetting that. Oh, it's usually something, that, it, this is not like, it's not your fault, it's nothing that you're doing. It's usually some programming or some past unresolved things, maybe some shadow work that it has your ego mind kind of talk to you a lot. So when you feel yourself starting to reconnect, like when you were a kid, when you're in the moment and you just, you just knew things, right? I mean, how many, even my kids, how many of you as kids remember having that imaginary friend or being able to see or sense spirit or hearing other, you know, people talking to you or connecting or just knowing things before they would happen? Or, you know, how many, so many kids do this so easily. It's like, sec they don't even question it. It's just who they are because they have that, they don't have the filters and the jadedness of like the adults, like they don't have that filter. They're just pure connection with spirit. So it's as an adult now, it's trying to unravel that because we became a bit jaded and got some programming on top of that as we went through life. So whether it was religious beliefs that were put on us, whether it was, you know, you, maybe it wasn't cool for you to express your spiritual side or any of this kind of like um, intuitive or psychic abilities because maybe your family was like not cool with it or maybe in general any of your ideas or your thoughts, desires, hopes, dreams were criticized by people, whether it's your family, your friends, your teachers, your churches, whatever it was, you had, you know, so you formed beliefs about, the spiritual side of things. You formed beliefs about how it, whether or not it was okay to connect with those abilities and how your gift, how effective your own gifts were, if you could trust it. So then as we're adults, we question everything we do. We question everything we think. We have a hard time making decisions. And sometimes we make decisions that don't end up being for our highest good. But I will say a little secret, everything's for our highest good. So it's just where we are in the journey. So we don't regret, we don't look back and beat the shit out of ourselves for our old choices or anything because our soul's on its journey. I think we talked about this a couple days ago when talking about bypassing and gaslighting. Like we are on our journey wherever we're at. So we can only make the choices and do the things with the consciousness that we have. And if we, we were meant to make different choices, we would. We may look back with the knowledge and awareness that we have at that time and go, hmm, oops. But really, it was just where we were at. And, you know, same with other people that we come across. But that's, that's yesterday's video about why people are rude or why we have conflict with other people. But everyone's in their own stuff, right? So, so now it's just getting out of your own way. And that's a big thing that I hear sometimes too, is how do I get out of my own way? And if you want to connect with your intuition and be able to trust it and really stand firm in the decisions that you make and really be able to connect with your loved ones on the other side or see the signs and trust them and be able to interpret them and be able to use them in your life, then it's getting rid of the stuff. It's getting peeling back the layers of the onion and getting to your fears, doubts, Okay, and getting to that little bit of that shadow, getting to the things that are convincing you that either you're not good enough, that you can't be like so-and-so, you can't listen to your intuition like that girl or like, like Jen. Jen has been training in this and knows how to do it. There's some big secret or there's some society that, you know, so special people have special gifts. Like, nope, we all have the gift. We all have this. So it's just the degree that you're willing to be open to it and then practice being open to it. And that means letting go of some stuff. That may mean letting go of some of your human thoughts thoughts and patterns and behaviors and beliefs, right? That are not going to serve you in this way, right? And I, especially as, you know, we're on Facebook and going into like a really tumultuous time coming up in our country in America with elections where people are all like this, over what? Like over what? Like, you know, so if your spirit or higher self would not be arguing this, would not be arguing, does not care about politics and does not care about these things, uh, does not care about the need to be right, you know, and the need to battle and convince others of their beliefs or what's right, what's wrong. It's just, it, it just is. Your higher self just is. And it knows intuitively what's right for you as an individual, what's right for your specific journey, and what's right for humanity. Your intuition knows. And if you're being convinced otherwise, and going down a path, like, 
anything that feels destructive or heavy or just ugh, then that's a sign your body always knows. Like your body will tell you like what what is in alignment with spirit, with your higher self and what's not. We always get a, you know, we get our feelings all the time, but how do we get in touch with that? So it's, it's, it's getting rid of our own stuff. It's kind of owning our shit and then being able to bring it to the light and then being able to release it. So it's fears, doubts, stories, patterns that have been existing within us for a long, long time. And having, so this is a process to do. And um, in fact, this is something that I am going to be like, big time diving into in January, right out of the gate, because I feel like forget, you know, fuck the New Year's resolutions and all the things that we convince ourselves we need to do um, that just end up going by the wayside because of these stories and patterns, right? That's why the resolutions don't work, because you're trying to step into something that you're you're just not in alignment. You're not in alignment with yet. Like it's just, you're making goals, dreams and things off the cuff that may not be in alignment with you. And there's still work to be done before you can really step into that. Cause it's who you need to be to be able to get in touch with your intuition. Who do you need to be to get to your next level of consciousness? Who do you need to be to be that light worker that's going to show up in the world and do just do things to help just really raise the vibe and consciousness of humanity. This is so needed right now, right? This is so needed. Um, so this is going to be the thing. And if you're in my group, The Awakened Empath, go to the announcements section and you'll see all this. If you're not, then you can either go in there and look or you know that this is something if you want to work on this, if you want to get in touch with your intuition, again, go back to like almost like your childlike self, your childhood self, get reacquainted with your intuition, be able to make decisions in your life from that space, um, be able to maybe even do readings. If you felt the call, if you watch me, if you watch other readers online or in person do readings for cards or or just intuitive readings, um, mediumship readings, or do work with the pendulums or the, the runes or other tools, uh, angel cards, oracle cards, I am going to be teaching people how to do that. But first, I am committed to helping you bust through all of these fears and doubts and stories and patterns that have been running the show for, for a long time. So you feel like you're never quite hitting the mark in your life. You feel like you're never quite reaching what you want. You're never quite uh, manifesting your desires or you're looking at people with this, what is this law of attraction manifestation shit? This doesn't work for me. That sounds great. And I've read all the books and I've done all the things and I've done all the rituals, right? But it doesn't still doesn't work for me. I'm going to say, well, then it's something, there's a pattern of thought in your head or in your ego mind that is convincing you otherwise, that is kind of keeping you in a stuck place, okay? That is not letting your consciousness open up a bit more. So this is what we're going to do. So in January, starting the first week, I think that's the fifth or the sixth is Monday. We're going to, um, I'm having a program called becoming fearless as fuck. So it's going to be four weeks, going to be kind of intense. My two programs are for action takers right now who are really looking to truly be aligned with their self, with their higher self and who they really are, and also step out as a light worker. And that can be for a business or not just be, just be able to feel like you're in touch with your intuition. You can trust it. Your ego's not driving anymore and you know the difference and you can see signs from spirit or angels or your spirit guides like who are they you know how to get in touch with them you know who they are and you can trust what you're seeing you can interpret them and you can make decisions you can get in touch with whatever you want to create in your life and you feel like you have the confidence to actually do that do this shit like you actually have the confidence to do it and you don't care about what other people think anymore. You don't care about putting yourself out there anymore. You don't care about being fear of being rejected or you don't care about the fear of failing. You don't care about the fear of succeeding. Like that's a big responsibility, right? Oh my gosh, the things that come with up leveling. You don't fear that shit anymore because you're so in alignment with your higher self and you're letting spirit drive with you, co-create. And you're like, wow, this manifesting and this law of attraction thing really works. I'm not teaching manifesting and law of attraction, but these things, once you do them, will lead to just by default, you'll be living in the law of attraction. You'll be living, you'll be able to manifest so much easier. And you're like, oh, this is what it is, right? It's not this big thing that's outside of me that I have to learn the magic formula. It's just me becoming the next version of me by peeling back the layers and the things that have been spoken over me and the things that I've maybe chosen to believe over the years that are not really serving me, that kind of keeping me back. Um, so becoming fearless as fuck is going to be about that. It's going to be about 
really realizing like what happened we're gonna really because it's beginning of the year we're gonna look at last year we're gonna look at 2019 and go okay what worked what didn't work what were the patterns that kept repeating what were things that came up for you then it's gonna be about releasing it so here are the fears that humans can feel sometimes abandonment there are all sorts of fears that humans go can go through some real common ones and we're gonna talk about all of those and you can see where they're showing up for you or not maybe one maybe more we're also going to release all of the thing, the pain that you're carrying with you from last year and maybe even years before, we're gonna release that shit and then we're going to rise up and realign. So that means we're going to talk a little bit about the chakra, the energies, because everything's energy. Like I said, all this, if you want to have a fulfilling life, fulfilling relationships, fulfilling health, fulfilling career, business, whatever you're doing, being a light worker and really making a difference and an impact, it's all your energy. It's all energy and this is not blaming and shaming saying oh your energy sucked before or you just don't know how to do it or it's, it's no you do know how to do it and everything that you've done up until this point is perfect and right and beautiful even though even if it sucked <laughs> even if you felt like it sucked it's absolutely what was supposed to happen it's empowering this is empowering you to know that it's this it's you that holds the key to everything this is not piling more pressure on you. This is like, oh shit, this is awesome. You mean that I can do this? You mean that I can make these shifts? You mean that I don't have to deal with the same old shit every year after year? Yes, this is what that means. <laughs> this is what it means. So are you ready for that though? These two programs are for people who are fucking ready to attack this, who are ready to say, and I don't mean attack in an aggressive negative way, but more like just really, you're going to take the action you need to take because you're ready to light it up. You're ready to step into your goddess energy. You're ready to step into your higher self. You're ready to grow your psychic gifts. Maybe you're ready to do readings. Maybe you're ready to step out and like, start and launch your passion business of being a light worker. Um, but first, becoming fearless as fuck is gonna teach you how to release and realign. I'm gonna do a guided meditation at the end where we're gonna line, we're gonna balance all your chakras. I'm gonna tell you how the chakras, the energy centers, actually affect those fears. Where do those fears come from? Where is your stuck energy? Like fear of money, fear of security. Those are all rooted in one of your energy centers. And we're going to talk about that because it matters. And when you understand it, it's really, it's a lot, it's very comforting to know that you, they're there, they're, they, this is a real thing. You're not going crazy. And you can do these balancing rituals and you can do this, and you can keep the meditation so you can go back and use it if you need it again. So we're gonna talk about that and then we're gonna kind of refocus for 2020. Now that we changed our focus from last year, where are we gonna refocus this year? So we are putting law of attraction and manifestation into effect by choosing where we put our energy. What is the energy we're putting out there and where are we putting it? That's gonna be huge. And then for those who wanna go on with me after the first month, I have an eight week program immediately following. We start 2 2 2020. So, February 2nd. All right, how magical is that, right? Ooh, like, like divinely inspired number 2 2 2020 is becoming intuitive as fuck. So, this is going to be about okay, now I've cleared myself out, I've balanced, I've centered. Now, I'm going to start connecting with spirit and really growing my gifts. So, I'm going to tell you. What does it mean to be an empath, an intuitive, and a psychic? Which one are you? Are you all three? Or do you resonate with one or more? Um, then we're going to talk about what are your specific gifts. Each person who does readings or has intuitive insights can come to you in different ways. What are your gifts? And then we're going to talk about, we're going to journey again into the chakras. And I'm going to go more in depth into the chakras and how it pertains to connecting with spirit. And we're going to talk about um, the clair senses. So when you do readings or you connect with higher self, your senses, there are clear senses, um, and you will have dominant ones, usually a dominant one, or maybe more than one and how to, how to really just identify with what yours are. And then go a little bit from last, from um, becoming fearless as fuck, touch on a little bit when it comes to being a light worker. Cause I know some people are super uncomfortable stepping out as a psychic or as an intuitive or really stepping into their gifts because people are gonna think, oh, you're too woo woo or what is this shit? Or it goes against our religion or any kind of stuff that's gonna come up or stepping out. So we're gonna talk a little bit about doubts and fears and managing that and managing other people's opinions, right? Because that's one of the biggest things that will hold you back is the fear of other people's opinions okay so we're going to talk about that in both programs um more so in fearless as fuck 
So then we're going to talk about how to connect with your spirit guides, how to know who your spirit guides are, how to connect in, connect with your angels and connect with the other side, how to do that. And then we're going to talk about what are the tools that you're going to use when you connect with yourself and for others. So that could mean um, oracle cards, that could mean angel cards, that could mean tarot cards, that could mean the pendulum, that could mean just doing, you know, readings just like this. Um, what's going, what resonates for you and what is your special gift? Okay. What do you, what are you called and pulled to do? And then we're going to talk about, um, how to do readings for yourself and others, how to go through it. Um, and then we're going to talk about how to get yourself open for business and how to accept, how do you can find clients? How do you find your soulmate clients? How do you connect with them? How do you accept payments? How do you come up with offers and packages and costs for your, for your work? And how do you, um, in clearing out any beliefs around accepting payment for light worker business? I know some people get very, very hung up on that. They feel guilty, they feel like it's not spiritual, there are certain beliefs, we're gonna clear that out, okay? Um, because you should absolutely be compensated. Your work is of high service and worthy of compensation. So just like any other profession. So we're gonna go ahead and, and feel comfortable and grounded with that. And how to step out on social media or in person and be open for business, okay? And even if you don't plan on doing a light worker business, because it's only that's only gonna be the last week. And the other part will be just declaring yourself as a light worker. And we're gonna be practicing in this group. All the both programs are in private Facebook groups. So you'll have support from me, you'll have support from the other people, and you'll be able to practice. So I'm gonna give you like tell you to buddy up with people and do readings together, or I will help um, and maybe call on you to come and do a reading in the group. Like this is again, this is for action takers who want to because even if you're not comfortable now but you know you want to get there this program is for you and like I said you don't have to start a business I mean the information will be there for you if you want to go back to it and ever do it but at least it will get you in a place where you are not been being dragged around by your ego mind and you can actually discern what is my higher self versus what is ego and be able to feel comfortable making decisions and stepping into relationships and stepping into your career, like knowing, okay, this feels good to me. This is in alignment with me, with who I truly am. This isn't what I think I should do or, you know, something like that. Some other past belief system that's kind of leading you around. And I know y'all know what I mean. I've been there. I've so been there where I realized it was in my mid thirties, y'all mid thirties, probably late thirties. When I realized I completely built a life that was not authentically me at all. I just built a, a life based on beliefs that I had or old stories that I had taken from being either unworthy or being not deserving or just because I think I should if I don't do it a certain way or how I was taught or told that I'm a bad person or it's not going to work. You know, all those, I had to unravel all the things, okay? And it's work, but it's so fucking worth it. It's so worth it. And so I encourage you, if you're feeling called to these programs at all, whether they're for me or you find somebody else that's similar to me doing this, like I, I just want light workers to step up or I want women to be able to stand in their power, in their true authentic power and feel like you know yourself, you're aware of yourself and you love yourself enough and you you know that spirit's right there with you, you can connect easily and you're just creating this life that you like wake up one day and go, wow, I can't believe this is really my life. Like, are you serious with this? You know, whatever that means for you, like whatever that means. So I have made for, because this is the first launch of these two programs, I have made the prices extremely reasonable and accessible for as many people as I can. So there are pay in full prices and there are payment plans. So I am going to post those. Um, actually, if you go on to in the comment section of this video, there's a comment from me that has links to all the places to find me outside of this video. My Facebook group, how to get a reading with me. Um, and then there's a link to enroll in these programs. If you click on the link, it takes you to my PayPal link. And if you scroll, you can read all the options. It gives you the prices, it gives you the payment plans, and you just, put in the amount that you are choosing and then you get yourself going, then you're in, then you're enrolled. And then if you're on a payment plan, it will just, you'll get a, a bill every month at the beginning of the month. And if you pay in full, then that's awesome. I appreciate you. And if you pay in full for um, the intuitive as fuck, becoming intuitive as fuck program, you get my awakened empath program for free. 
that's included. It's an eight week program about all things empath. So yes. So this is the thing. This is my mission for this year is to activate and ignite as many light workers as possible and get you launched up. Whether it's in your life, just wanting to make improvements and to get your life into a more authentic, fulfilling place and light yourself up and have a life that you're lit up about. Or if you're going to launch a business, if after into becoming intuitive as fuck, you'll be ready to launch a business. Yes, there's more to scaling your business up and people can talk to me about that after if that's the route they want to go but you should be ready to launch with the bare with the bare basics this is how i did it the bare basics that's how i started my my card reading business my psychic reading business total basics so it's and it should be you'll be able to do this you'll be able to just go for it all right so with that, you guys, I love you so much. Any questions, comment below, message me. Join me in my group, The Awakened Empath. Um, I am doing a spiritual awakening series for this month in December. Tomorrow, we're talking about the darkness. Last week, I did an intro to spiritual awakening, and a lot of people are just resonating with, oh my gosh, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm going through. Oh, so I'm not crazy. <laughs> this is real. This is normal. Whew, right? So if you feel like you're going through something, and I'll bet it's super common right now, like we're going into this new decade, like seriously, things are moving and shaking. So if you're feeling it, go over to my group, The Awakened Empath. The comments, uh, my comment in this live stream um, has a link to it, or you can just search it, The Awakened Empath, and come on in and check it out. Um, and it also has the details to all the programs I just talked about as well in the announcement section. So, so. That's it, y'all. Um, I love you guys. I always appreciate your time, your um, support, and your love, and being here with me. You're amazing. If you feel like this information would be helpful to anyone else that's in your life, um, please share. I invite you to please share this video because there might be other people who need programs like this who don't know where to start or don't know how to get support. Um, and may click and resonate with me and feel energetically aligned. That's what you want to do when you're going into this work. You want to learn from someone that you feel energetically aligned with. That's so important. All right. So with that, I will see you guys soon and have an amazing day.